Hello everyone, welcome to this math video where we are required to find the lowest common multiple of 12 and 90. I am going to introduce two methods for you all to see, okay? And in order for this lowest common multiple to be of 12 and 90, and so, the very first thing to take note is that in order for it to be a lowest common multiple <coughs> this lowest common multiple must have all the um, prime factors of in this case 12 and 90 okay and we also must take special care to ensure that we do not double count the prime factors so that it can be very importantly the lowest because if we do over count and double count the prime factors it will still be a common multiple it just will not be the lowest so going back to here you can see that i have list out the prime factors of 12 and 90 and in this case i just need to select the factors of both 12 and 90 so you can see that i would then select two two and three and after that I continue this one is the prime factors of 12 and later I continue to select my 3 and my 5 so that this LCM have the prime factors of 12 this LCM also have the prime factors of 90 and I have successfully fulfilled this already and I do make sure that I do not double count the factors with that all I have to do next is to use my calculator and that will be the answer which will be 180 So, for the next line, I'm trying to rewrite 12 in terms of its index notation. So, 2 times 2, I've written it as 2 power 2, 3 is still 3. And if you look at my 90, 2 is still 2, 3 times 3. I've written it as 3 power 2, 5 and that's 5. <clears throat> and when I compare now the LCM that I've successfully chosen, remember I must make sure I choose every prime factors of 12 and 90 and at the same time I do not double count them. And so when I list it down, so you see LCM is 2 times 2, right? So I write it as 2 power 2, 3 times 3, 3 power 2, uh, 5, 5, and I do notice a special, special pattern that I could actually identify, which is that I notice that when I compare the base 2 of the prime factor 2, I actually, the answer for the LCM is actually the one that has the higher power. So that I could actually have all the prime factors for that number. So you see, if I compare 3 and 3 power 2, 
Actually, the answer is 3 power 2. Now, 5 and nothing is still 5. <coughs> so, of course, this one is 180. Uh. And this brings me to the next point that I would just really like to share with you that we usually take the highest power for each prime factor. Okay? Uh, because it will work and it will ensure that the answer will be a multiple of both numbers. Alright, this is a pattern that we have actually identified. And, I'm going to introduce now to a second method here, <coughs> by the successive short division method. So in this case here, we would divide by the common prime factor. So in this case, it's 2. And I will left with 6. And 45. Is there a common prime factor that I could divide with? 2 cannot. The next smallest one will be 3. And that will be 2 and 15. <laughs> and for the lowest common multiple, I will then have to consider this 4. We do need to multiply 2 and 15 just so that LCM will be a multiple of 12 and 90. And hence, for this method, I will still get the same answer. Alright. With that, we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.